Hi, welcome back. On this video here, we are going to be learning about constructors. And you might be asking, what is constructor? What is that word, Edwin? I heard it before. I maybe you probably never heard it before, right? But, well, constructors are just methods. And methods that will do something when we create an instance of a class. As long as we... As, as soon as we create an instance, it would do something for us. Now, it's actually easier for me to show you. So let's go ahead and open our co-editor. And let's create a save as. This is a save as from class underscore card 3.php. All right. So right here, let's make this constructor. Class underscore constructor. There we go. Now I'm just going to delete a couple things out of here. This method right here. Actually, I'm going to leave that one. I'm going to delete the one underneath. And I'm going to delete all these instances and calls. All right. So what I want to do is I'm going to take this off. I'm going to actually comment this uh, out. And I'm going to show you on the screen here on the browser. There is nothing there showing for this. Now, how do I make a constructor? Well, very simple. Let's just take this out of there. Underscore twice and the keyword construct. All right, this is going to make a, a constructor and it's going to execute this every time we create a new instance. Now, I just want to echo it so you can see it. Now, I'm going to, as you can see, there is nothing here, even if I say refresh. But once I create a new instance, which is going to be this one, I save the file, you can see that that created, executed this automatically. All right. It echo this automatically on the screen. So look what happened now if I go ahead and create another instance and let's call this truck. We get another one. Let's create another one. Let's just keep doing it. And let's call this semi. Every time we create a new instance, this construct gets executed. Now you might be asking yourself, why in the world do I need this? Why? Well, sometimes we need to do certain functions before we execute a program. For example, we can go to the database and check if the user did something in the program, or if the user exists, then we want to create some uh, default values or for this specific object, or maybe we want to go inside the special program when we, let's say for example, just to give you a quick example we create the new instance right of car and we have some default values we want the car to do automatically we want the car the wheels to move we want the, the hood to be to have gas or I don't know or we have we want the cars to have four doors we want these specific values already in there all right and we want these methods working we create a current construct and we put all this functionality all this in here all these default values and every time we create a new instance of a car, it could be a BMW, it could be a Mercedes or a Ferrari or a Porsche. Then we have all these functionalities already. Or our cars are running automatically. We don't have to be calling methods and, and doing anything else with it, right? We have all this working automatically. We can do some housekeeping stuff too, making sure that we check that our programs are actually working right by using a construct and doing some validations on something. I mean, a construct is very useful. If you learn how to use it, you're going to thank me for it, all right? So anyways, I hope you got the concept here of this. This is a very easy concept, very powerful functionality if you learn how to use it. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video here, and I hope you like the information, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.